See who jumps on here for Christmas, bud. See who jumps on here. We'll read most scripture out loud today. Somebody gets on. You'll probably better to get over here. Well, that's guy. We got one. What's up, Saints? Sean Cox. What does Jesus look like? I'm over here a little scripture reading on Christmas. So I hear they gonna read a little uh, Luke chapter two, one through twenty for you. Hope you Saints are out there having a merry Christmas, man. Jesus loves you, so do I. Lord Jesus, bless the reading of this word. And it came to pass in those days that the decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. That the census first take place, and White Cornelius was governing in Syria. So all went to the register everywhere to his own city. Joseph also went up from Galilee, out of the city of Nazareth, into the Judea, the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was in the house of the lineage of David, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed wife, who was with child. So it was the what that while they were there, the days were completed for her to be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and said to him, set him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Now there were the same country shepherds were living out or living out in the fields, keeping watch over the flocks by night. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood before them and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were greatly afraid. And the angel said to them, do not be afraid for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which will be to all people. For there is born to you in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign to you. And you will find a, a babe wrapped in a swallowing clothes lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angels a multitude heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and earth the peace and goodwill towards men. And so it was. And the angels had gone away from them into heaven. And the shepherds said to one another, Let us now go to Bethlehem and see the thing which has come to pass, which the Lord has made known to us. And they came to haste and found Mary and Joseph and a babe lying in a manger. And now when they had seen him, they had made widely known the saying which was told them concerning the, the child. And all those who heard marveled at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in their heart. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen. And it was told to them. Well, that story, well, that's the story of baby Jesus, saints. And most people know that Jesus wasn't born on Christmas, for real. The historians, it, he was probably conceived. The angel visited Mary this time of year, and that's when he was conceived. And he was probably born in the fall of the year since the shepherds were in the field. I just wanted to read that story out loud just to say, well, that's what the seeds is for, saints. That's what it's really about. He sustains us. He gives us everything. We, we're dust and ashes without him, man. I just wanted to get on here and read that story, the story of Jesus out, and say a prayer with you saints on Christmas, man. So, Lord Jesus, be with these people out here, whether they're with their family or they're alone, Lord. I lift them up to you. Love them and take care of them and bless them, Jesus. We can't do anything without you. Thank you thank you for sending your son to die for us. We praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Well, saints, that's why I jumped on here to, to read that scripture out loud and say a prayer with you. Y'all have a blessed rest of your Christmas day. Take care. I'll see you again. Bye.